Hi friends. Brenda Allegri a transgender lecturer in Hong Kong. Allegri is a trans woman who was born and raised in Manila. She moved to Hong Kong in 2011 to teach the popular and groundbreaking course Sexuality and Gender, Diversity and Society that was introduced to the HKU curriculum that same year. Superheroes have played vital roles in shaping the identity of university lecturer Brenda Allegri. When I was a five-year-old growing up in the Philippines, I wanted to be Linda Carter from the American TV show Wonder Woman. She made me realize my gender. But Christopher Reeve as Superman, well he was my first crush, says Allegri. Trans refers to someone whose gender differs from the one they were born with, identifying as male or female or finding that neither label fits. Born male. Allegri has identified as a female for as long as she can remember. Once my dad whacked me with a bamboo stick because I didn't want my hair cut short like a male, it was required for military training college Brenda Allegri. I cried so hard and didn't talk for several days. That was the last time he hit me, says Allegri. Luckily she didn't get too bullied, she was an honest student and that's more important than anything so she was noticed by some of the students. What she did endure was a lot of catcalling and heckling. People would call her bakla, a derogatory word. Being trans in the Philippines is hard, people get killed for being trans. But a major victory for the LGBTQ community came in 2016 when Geraldine Roman was voted into Congress making her the first openly transgender woman in the Philippine government. As well as dealing with prejudice, transgender people must also deal with the many physical and psychological issues. The process of changing from identifying as a boy to a girl, or vice versa, is called transitioning but Allegra says this does not always mean undergoing sex reassignment surgery, SRS, or taking hormones. It could involve more subtle and personal changes such as changing a name, the way one dresses or the way one speaks. Others might alter their gender on identity documents, a legal hot potato in Hong Kong which only issues new identity cards to transgender people if they have received surgery to remove their genitals and construct organs according to their new gender. When I see police in uniform I feel afraid, she explains. Last year I was approached at the IFC, International Finance Center, Toilets, in Central, by civilians claiming to be police. They asked to see my ID card and questioned me in a threatening way, asked me why I went to the women's toilet if I wasn't female and asked if I had bottom surgery, all while looking through my bag, wallet and phone. The applicants say a refusal is a violation of the sex discrimination ordinance. Allegri agrees. She says the law discriminates, as not all transgender people undergo gender reassignment surgery. Some like herself, are fearful about the risks, she says, others may not be able to afford the surgery. I had breast augmentation surgery in the Philippines but I'm afraid of doing anything further, she says. She says a common misconception among many trans women is the more hormones you take, the faster you transition. She found out the hard way that there is no fast track. It's important people do it right and visit a doctor. She is a member of STRAP, the first society of transsexual women of the Philippines and volunteers at Hong Kong's Transgender Resource Center. Allegri also loves to sing, is a soprano in a local choir, and is testing the city's dating waters. Thanks guys for watching this video.